Hello YouTube, and welcome to a DBT Gamer Special. Now, when I was a little boy, all those years ago, video games were a lot more simple. You had three buttons, a black controller, a black box, and the music was as retro as hell. And what games did I have for my system? One of them was Lion King. And to be honest, I loved this game as a child. It was one of my all time favourites. Now, it may not be much to look at these days, but it's still pretty special to me. And in this DBT game, especially, I'm going to show off some Lion King and some Aladdin. Now, let's do Aladdin first, because Aladdin is first in the alphabet in these in the order I suppose. Now I haven't really played much of Aladdin but there are some nice versions on here. You get the final cut version which apparently has some bug fixes so I think I will play that version. Also you got like a Game Boy version as well which I don't which is yeah, that's nostalgia and can it? Look at those graphics. Xbox 360 and Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Eat your heart out. <laughs> anyway, let's go with the final cut version of Aladdin. Because get all those nasty bugs fixed. And there's Robin Williams, the genie. Okay, put it on normal difficulty. <laughs> I won't explain why I'm laughing, but the, the this the song A Whole New World. Let's just say there are some parody versions of this song which aren't exactly safe for YouTube. Um Far away, Melanda Magabar. Off we go. Level one, the market. Okay, it is jump, B is sword, Y is apple. I can understand that. Yeah, this is the Mega Drive version. This collection, it's mostly built on the Mega Drive versions of the game. No. Super Nintendo ports, which is a bit of a shame. Because if you actually play the Super Nintendo version of Aladdin and the Mega Drive version, each version was a slightly different game. The Super Nintendo version was more a platformer, whereas the Mega Drive, it was more of a action platformer because you had a sword to stab things with. So, yeah. Hey, hey, stop throwing things at me! I'm trying to concentrate and do things correctly. Okay. Oh, is that a checkpoint? And one thing that's fantastic about this version is if you press minus, you can be naughty. You get a save point. That's some fantastic stuff, that is. I like a good save point where you can actually save. Okay. And if you want, you can load your save point, and then like magic with some some witchcraft or some genie nonsense, you fly straight back up, and then you can look more competent. <laughs> So, yeah, that's a pretty cool feature, and it's nice to have. And you can abuse it as much as you want, I suppose. Ooh, gems. Get my gems. Get the shiny things. Oh, I think I died. You died, mate! <laughs> okay, let's just... Load. Uh, 
I hope everyone's doing okay. I'm doing okay. Earlier in the week I did a live stream of um, Bayonetta 2, Ikaruga and some Fantasy Zone. Um, the video's mostly just a test, so keep that in mind. I don't often do live streams because, well, my internet's not the best in the world, so lag may be an issue. So that was mostly just a test, just, you know, to see how things cope with my internet and see how things cooperate. You know, it was, it was sort of one of those situations where you're like, hold on to your butts, you know. Have an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Fun fact about apples though, people. Apples, seeds, actually can be an ingredient for cyanide capsules. Yeah, if you eat like a bunch of apple seeds, you can technically kill yourself. So, there you go. That's definitely a thing. Some nice eight-bit music here. Well, actually, no, sixteen-bit music. My, my, my mistake. I have played the eight-bit version of this game at a games convention. Well, an anime and games convention in Barnsley last year. It was only a small convention, but I had a decent amount of fun. You know, they had some EverDrives hooked up to a lot of old consoles, like like Turbo Graphics 16. I, I I'd never played a Turbo Graphics 16 before. That was it's something new to t to um to experience and figure out which buttons did what. Very simple controller, just just two buttons. But I, I like the turbo switches on the turbo graphic. That was a cool feature. Stops your fingers from getting tired. Bloody hell. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not doing so well here. Okay, reload my save. Yeah, I really like the reload. No, I want to load the save. I don't want to save the game. I believe there's also a level select as well, and it has like achievements. But achievements get turned off if you use the level select because you're being naughty. And the game's like, oh, naughty boy! N n no level select, n no achievements for you whilst using level select. No. Although the game. It seems to think it's fine to use to use saves, so that's that, that gives you some lee lee when you're playing the game, and, and so it should, to be honest, because these games are pretty hard. These are definitely not easy games. You will rage and you will die and you will lo possibly lose your temper, maybe snap a. Mega Drive control in half or, or two. I, I never did that. I never broke a control over a game, but I have heard about people who s smash tellies or done other abusive things to consoles. So, yeah, that's crazy. I have got some more videos in the pipeline. I might work on a review in a bit. If anybody wants to put any comments down and video suggestions, feel free to do so. I will try and full 
fulfill any requests. But I'm... Oh, you... Damn it! Okay. I wonder what the gems are for, though. I, I know in the um, Super Nintendo version, the gems are for... Unlocking... Like a secret ending, but... I think the Mega Drive version, they're for something different. But I could be wrong. I, I could be talking out my ass. The, the the graphics are drawn really nicely. When this game was made, they actually got the animators from, from Disney to help with, make the game graphics and they scanned like cells into the Mega Drive and it made the graphics look more authentic. Whereas the Super Nintendo version went with sprites, which it in those days, Sega and Nintendo, they were, well, they were enemies and they were trying to, always trying to one-up each other in terms of graphics, music quality. To be honest, the, the Super Nintendo, most of the time, had the better music. There, there, there were a few times when it was, when the Mega Drive was better. But, most of the time, if you wanted good music, you went to the Super Nintendo. If you wanted. Most of the time, Mega Drive, when it came to music, it was. Um, it was pretty good when it came to metal music, I suppose. Because it had that sort of sound. You know, it's just the way it was capable of doing things. Reese, I've been. Beat a lot of games off my backlog. I've been beating Dragon Quest XI, which was oh over a hundred hour 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 game. I took me ages to beat that, and I'm, make a save here. Back to full health. Let's let's go. I also beat Marley's Paper Jam this morning. I stayed up pretty late last night playing that. And so, yeah, I've been taking care of my backlog. That's one thing that's been good about all this extra time off work and just taking care of backlog, books, video games. Oh, Christ. I'm out of apples. Okay, there's the monkey token there. Okay, it's just for extra points. Get myself some more apples because I've just used them all. At the moment, this is on sale for twenty pounds on the. Oh, you can buy lives. Oh, that is cool. There's a little shop in the game. I didn't know that. The only version I'd play was the Master System version. The Master System version was like a side-scrolling... ...running sort of game where you couldn't really... S well, the first few levels you couldn't really stop. Hey, I beat the first level. Totally legit first try. No save states used. He lied through his teeth. Oh, I lost. Well... Oh, a bonus. Oh, okay. Oh, that didn't go very well. Bonus level, whatever.
Ooh, I'm on the Cave of Wonders level already. Oh no, I'm in the desert. Let's go get some ice cream. I fancy a strawberry sundae. Wait a minute. This isn't the sort of desert I was thinking of. Where's my strawberry sundae? Oh! De not desert. De I I'm thinking of a dessert. That's what we British people call comedy. And that's comedy gold. <laughs> yeah, I am not the funniest person in the world by a long shot. Can I jump a little bit higher? It would have been nice to have this game when I was a kid, but, you know. Oh, there's a little Mickey Mouse hat! A little reference there. I see you there, Mickey. I see what you're doing with the things. Yeah, some of the... Disney made some good games back in the early Mega Drive and Super Nintendo area. But later they sort of lost their way in terms of good games. Some PlayStation 1 games were good. I didn't really play that game, but I have seen some of them online and they do look reasonably good. But this is really good. Oh no, R spiky things, wrong way. Can't always tell what's going to hurt you. Come on. Stab you in the face with my sword. Sword to the face. One at a time. Two at a time. You know, I'll take you all on. You just, just stab everything. Oh, I can't. It's a little bit tricky to see which way to go. I do like the Disney movies. Aladdin is one of my favourite ones. I, I haven't really looked at the remakes. Um, I prefer the animation ones, to be honest. There are set of things that, that just work best, better in animation Disney rather than it, it, in live action. A example, the Lion King that they recently remade, they practically cut out Be Prepared, which is the best song in the entire movie. I, I never really had a... I mean, a lot of people like Akuna Matata, what a wonderful craze, but to me, Be Prepared was always the best song in the entire movie. Right. Anyway, that's enough of Aladdin. Let's exit out of this. Right. Just save my games. I can come back to that to later when I've do when I want to. Okay. Yes, yeah, save and quit. Okay, that's been double saved. That's not going anywhere, David. And now let's go over to the Pride Lands and go back to the game that I used to play when I was a little boy, Lion King. And you get the North American version and the yeah. and the Japanese version as well. Uh, you also get the um, Game Boy version, which I... And the Game Boy Color version, okay. But... I think we're here for the... For this version. 
And this is my save from earlier, so we're in the elephant graveyard. And we just crank up this musical. This is some nice 8 bit chip music. This is Be Prepared, which is the best song in Lion King. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. That's some good music. And the Mega Drive does this very well, and so does the Super Nintendo Sender. It just. <laughs> Sorry, I am butchering this. But. I remember I went to button mash a few. Well, several. Well, over a year ago now. But they had this, this on the Super Nintendo, and I sat there for. At least an hour. Just with this huge. Grin on my face saying, I used to play this when I was younger and I am happy now. I, yeah, I stepped out Super Nintendo for over an hour with a pint of Coke and. Just. Enjoy myself. Simple pleasures in life, you know, just enjoying old video games. Some of my good friends there as well, there was some nice people to chat with and talk to. Same event that helped me record my Skies of Arcadia review. Actually... I'll reset the game, I'll go back to the one of the early levels. I'll go back to be prepared a little bit later, but yeah. Do I think this collection is worth it? Yeah. At the moment, it's one third off on the Switch eShop. I think it's the same on the Sony PlayStation's eShop as well. So get it while it's on sale, guys. 20 quid, two games, multiple versions. You can't really go wrong. You know, it's just great. Boom. You can change your difficulty level, you can play the game pretty much any way you want it. Now, from what I've heard, in terms of how the game plays, some of the glitches that are still there, which is a little bit of, the, of a shame, Aladdin has the final cut version, which is got a lot of the glitches cleaned up and removed and you know nicely restored in a fair way, but for some bizarre reason they couldn't restore Lion King, which is a big shame. It, it, it'd be nice if Lion King got the same treatment as Aladdin, but it depends how much time they had and how much source code they had to hand and all that uh, nonsense. To be honest, we're very lucky to get these games. These these sort of games, I didn't think we would ever see on a virtual console because Disney, and you know how they are with their IPs and uh, uh, licensing and all that corporate nonsense bullshit. Just give me my Disney game and put it on the eShop, damn it. it I give you money, I get game. That's how things should work, is you? Just developers, designers, and rights people, just get it done. You, you, you make money, we are happy, everyone's happy, what's not to like? Video games are meant to be enjoyed and to be played, not just kept everywhere. You know, as long as the source code's still around or you can emulate it on the Switch or on a PS4, get it on that electronic shop. Or if you want to be really fancy, physical CD or cartridge release, you know, that sort of thing. Keeping these sort of games locked up in, like, vaults. Nah. That's just... Well, it's... It's sad. It's, it's just depressing, really. You know. Okay, the first boss, the hyena, Ed, Shanzi, and yeah. Easy mode, it only takes one hit to bring it down. Yes, 
Very early voice acting in a Mega Drive game. That's something you don't see very often. Oh crap, bug stage. Yeah, I am not good at these. I, I suck. But I think you get extra lives if you manage to do good on those. I am not good. And here we have the infamous level with the monkeys. The fucking monkeys. But you do get the awesome rendition of To Be a King in all its Mega Drive glory, which is a feast for the years. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hum this and <laughs> be humming this all day. It's, it is so infectious. All right, can I remember the uh, monkey puzzles? I do remember these from when I was a kid. It's the sort of thing once you figure it out, they are completely ingrained in your memory, and you will never forget them. Well, hopefully. Up we go. Across, around, and down. And then more on to the other bit of the stage that's a pain in the ass, the ostrich sections. Unfortunately, this is the section. Oh. I've just deleted my save for the. Uh, for the for for. Oh well, I can I can do it there. Yeah, this is the section of the game which is. Also a pain in the ass. The bloody ostrich levels. It's it's a uh, side drawing madness. In the first stage, you get like a little arrow which tells you, you know, where to jump and which way to go. But later in the level, it actually removes the arrows, which is well naughty and it's a pain in the ass. I I. I. I don't like these bits, they're an absolute nightmare. Some, some of the worst levels in the game, to be honest. Oh, worst parts of the level. Okay, let's... Uh... Just quit out of that, and then I'm going to go to the options screen, and with a bit of cheating magic, do do. And I'm going to go to the. Has that worked? Does it let me start on the adult levels now? If I put that incorrectly. And I know there's a button code that you can put in, which lets you skip through the levels as, as well. Here we go! Yeah, that was nice and simple, Tenter. But now at Sims and Adult, you can scratch things to death and it's glorious. Oh yeah, you can also rewind the rewind the game and raw, and you can do that. Yeah, let's go scratch some things. Ooh, the Jaguar, the Atari Jaguar. Have a cat fight. I'm Simba, the king of the the, the king of the animals. Okay. I am the Lion King. Nobody screws with the Lion King. <laughs> but if you use the cheat codes, the game will not give you health extensions. So you have to earn those. So you don't get a complete get out of jail free card. Yeah, one thing I have noticed about both these, about this game is the 
the grabbing on ledges is a little bit suspect. This is this is the same in no matter which version you play, whether it be Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, or Switch. It's not just like a problem with the emulation port. It's it's in all the versions. Trust me, I know it's there. <laughs> Grabbing on ledges and certain areas of the game, Simba won't always grab. I don't know why, but apparently when it came to coding this game, Disney wanted to make the game hard, so they made the game so that it wouldn't grab as often. Which, well, I gotta say, Mickey Mouse, that's a dick move. These games already are enough. You don't need to put that cheap nonsense. Okay, I'll just scratch the hell out of these guys. Hey, Rafiki. I'll just quit the game and I'll go to the no save option. And there was one save. There was one level I wanted to show for it was quite impressive when I was younger. The just just the way it looked and the way the Mega Drive handled it. Cause Yes, I know. God, bloody. Alright, where is it? Okay, be prepared is the last stage. Oh no, Simba's return is the last stage, that's it. Now, where is it? Right. Okay, it's this one. I believe this one was quite impressive. It's the uh, stampede level. Which is probably one of the most difficult levels in the original game. Just the way it is set up. And it's an absolute pain in the ass. You will lose many lives and continues on this bloody thing. But yeah, it's one of these charging towards you nonsense sort of stages that... Oh my goodness. <laughs> why, why did I pick this level? This is terrible, David. This... They're terrible life choices. Although, to be honest, it's Simba's. Ow, my face! I've been stampeded to death. <laughs> but, yeah, this is in one of the most hardest levels. With the cheat codes, arguably you could skip this nonsense, but if you want to do a full run through, yeah. I mean, mostly it just comes down to memorization of. Where the wildebeest are, but also with the wildebeest, you've got you've, you've got the boulders as well. So it's just a really difficult stage. Oh, give it one more try. He, he says one more try. Six hours later, he's still playing the bloody thing. Just saying, one more try. One more try. Okay. But, yeah, it's a, it's a nice little game collection. I was... Nothing more worth buying. I'll go back to Aladdin and see if this has some level select stuff. Alright, play games. Final Cut version. Options. Yeah, it does. It does have a level select. Okay. Let's go with the...
Where is it? There we go. This is what what I wanted to find the the cave level where you have to skip the cave on the flying carpet. One of the difficult levels, which is very similar to the stage that I just showed you with in Lion King with the stampede. This is a very similar sort of affair. Oh, this might be the wrong. Ow, my. <laughs> oh, well, what about. I'll show off this level now that I'm in it. Yeah, this might be the wrong level. Unless I'm thinking of the um, Super Nintendo, which I may have got things mixed up. Right. Uh, I'll just quit out of this and see if I can find that level. There we go. The rug ride, that's what it's called. Because that makes... Yes, I'm aware of the achievements thing game. Will you stop reminding me? I know how cheats work. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. This this madness with the We have to get out of the cave of wonders before you get burned because you stole the lamp and the cave of wonders is pissed, it's like it it, it goes way too fast and your eyes start to hurt because everything's going too fast you can't see for shit you can't think fast enough and everything's gonna go wrong <laughs> and I really shouldn't be talking right now because I will what do you mean question mark that doesn't make any sense genie help me I'm gonna die we have this stupid game of wonders with this bloody carp and this bloody monkey and this bloody Lava forever, and I'll never. And I'll splat straight into a wall. So, yeah. And I'll just quick to the menu. So, overall, yeah, it's a great little collection of Disney games, and it's definitely worth buying, definitely worth playing. I would recommend it. Consider it's only £20 on the digital shop right now. It's good. So, I would recommend these games. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.